Hello and welcome to Herbal Basics. In this module, I'll speak to you about cholesterol and triglyceride support. Now the topics in this module will include understanding cholesterol, understanding triglycerides, and then approaches for healthy cholesterol and triglyceride levels, which will include a discussion on diet, herbs and supplements, and weight management and exercise. Let's begin by understanding cholesterol. Now, there is good and bad cholesterol. The good is the HDL, which stands for high density lipoprotein. It's good in that it helps remove harmful forms of cholesterol. The bad is LDL, which stands for low density lipoprotein. It's bad in that it can build up and cause blockages in arteries. Both HDL and LDL are made by the liver. Now, cholesterol also comes from animal foods that we eat. Cholesterol cannot be exercised off or burned for energy. One last point is as we age, men tend to have lower HDL levels than women. Now let's talk about understanding triglycerides. Triglycerides are the main component of fat cells. Triglycerides are classified as either saturated or unsaturated. Now with respect to unsaturated, they can be either monounsaturated or polyunsaturated. Triglyceride sources include fats, sugars, simple carbohydrates, and alcohol. A high triglyceride level coupled with a high LDL level is not healthy. Likewise, a high triglyceride level coupled with a low HDL level is not healthy. The ideal is a low triglyceride level coupled with a high HDL level. Now let's speak to diet. We can improve both cholesterol and triglyceride levels by doing the following. We can begin by eating less saturated fat. That would include fatty meats, fatty dairy products, and processed foods. Now this will improve HDLs and lower LDLs. Next, we can maintain a diet low in sugar, simple carbohydrates, and alcohol. This will lower the triglyceride levels. Now we can also eat lots of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. The, the, the fiber in these foods reduces total cholesterol levels. We can also use olive oil, and it does lower total cholesterol and LDL while maintaining HDL levels. And last on the list, we can eat foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon, walnuts, and flaxseed. This will decrease triglycerides. Now let's speak to herbs and supplements. I'll begin with ashwagandha. Now, ashwagandha is an Ayurvedic herb that has many medicinal properties. With respect to this module, I want to point out that it, one of its properties is, is that it reduces total cholesterol and triglycerides while improving HDL levels. Next on the list is N-acetyl-L-cysteine. In short, NAC. NAC is a form of the amino acid cysteine and has many beneficial properties. As, as does ashwagandha, NAC reduces total cholesterol and triglycerides while improving HDL levels. Now last on the list is fish oil and cod liver oil. The omega-3 fatty acids reduce triglycerides and improve HDL. Now let's speak to weight management and exercise. Extra weight does contribute to elevated total cholesterol. So being overweight increases the LDL levels. Exercise can improve HDL levels and lower triglyceride levels. In particular, aerobic exercise on a regular basis has the most benefit. I want to thank you for watching this module in Herbal Basics. Have a good day.